Oh, V. You get any sleep? No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's bile mine. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Piece of shit! Come on! Oh, no, no, no. How you like my new punching bag? This gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. Well, there's ways of fixing that. Karenzikov should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or Watson. Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of.
Saitama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And, in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun night. So, uh, what are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the room. of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Much work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us.
Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, with anything, really.
scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. It looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. What are you checking him out? V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. 
Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corporal agent, what's your plan at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. 
That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> she gone. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. There you are. Let me hear what you squared away. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow.
Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Ring a ding ding, Chom. Gotta get this done. What you waiting for? <sighs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. Could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Tech truck. But those cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. Well, just me and us, Holmes. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. T0 D12. Call the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever 
you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Free. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice, because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for you, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead. Here he is, the ugly bastard. Dead. You hear? Bueno. Oh, Fuerte, cabrón. Oh. Shit. Oh. Grab the gear. Bot and control shard. Quick! Gotta find a way out of here. Said, bot and controller. Let's go. Quicker the better. Let's get out of here. We're dying for some fresh air. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way. Oh, good. This 
move. Let's go. Detonator. Armed. Ooh, tough. But, all said and done, guy was a goon. Ruthless at that.
not far now. Exit close. V, let's get out of here.
No begging, no debt, no corpo strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah, cause I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. Ah, I love this town. A city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a boat, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street'll talk. The street'll remember. It's a win-win. You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Hold up, dig way. What now, Jack? What now? And now I go back, find Misty, and we do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. <sighs> Ducked in time to avoid death's sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate, even though we get to do that lots. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits at you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm-hmm. That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Bark will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. <laughs> 